Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Okay, today I want to harp on, as you see on the screen, the word hypocrite. All right. And how Esau is a hypocrite, man. You know? Because, um, you know, we coming into the time of persecution as brothers, you know, been doing various videos on. And Esau is going to push this uh, rape, this uh, the this so-called, uh, he's going to push lies upon us, man. And one of the main lies that he's going to push upon us is rape, you know. That's why he allows these sold out camps, all right. Or that's why, rather, these sold out camps, when it comes to speaking of GMS, they always bring up the topic of rape. Because that's what they're going to push on us, man. They're going to slander us. You know? And here it is. It's a well-known fact that Esau has a sight. Let's see if it's still up. Look, there's a well-known fact that Esau, all right, is the biggest rapist and pedophile of them all, man, which we're not rapists, all right? We don't push that shit, all right? But here it is, look, NAMBLA, the North American Men and Boy Lovers Association is a pedophile and pederasty advocacy organization in the United States. Why the hell? Look, well, it was founded in 1978 and it's still up and running. You know, sites like this and shit like this hasn't been taken down. Look, you see they made parodies on it. This is uh, South Park. <laughs> you know, shit like this hasn't been taken down. All right, but here it is. The men who are trying to bring peace upon the earth are going to be looked down on, man. All right? And if that don't boost brother's faith, I don't know which will, what will, man. Because in the scriptures, I'm going to just grab that. Yahweh Shai says this. Um, uh, let's see. Locky. It says uh, Matthews 5 and 10 Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sakes Because just as Yahawashai Was persecuted for righteousness sakes Alright Which he's prophesying Of what the Lord is going to do Alright he prophesied In 70 AD he prophesied the downfall Of Rome Did it not happen So that's all we're doing man We're prophesying of what the Lord is going to do Alright he prophesied of himself. You know? Talking about the temple being destroyed and uh, um, being rebuilt in three days. That was himself, man. All right? And do we not do that, man? We prophesy. Hey, we say how some of us are going to receive spiritual powers. All right? Some of you know, we prophesy of how we're going to get beamed up in them chariots when the Lord's come. When the Lord comes. We prophesy of uh, how, how even some of us will... Um, be beheaded for this truth. You know? Hey, we prophesy uh, the coming of uh, the kingdom of Israel, man. All right? That we're going to leave this captivity by the hand of a so-called black man, man. By the name of Yahawashai, who the world eagerly knows is Jesus Christ. All right? And that's for righteousness, man. Because the Most High is going to do this. This is blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Salak you. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, <laughs> for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So because we speak of the scriptures, as the scriptures say, Behold, I come in the volume of the book, and how rape is in the scriptures, 
all right? Which rape just means to take by force, all right? We are going to be persecuted falsely for the, for the sake or for the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But blessed are we. All right? But back on this, man. Esau, the so-called white man, is a damn hypocrite. All right, he got the piece of gate thing going. All right, which that's known as well. But Esau's not being persecuted. These, these, uh, you know, what I'm saying these secretaries of states and these presidents—they're not being persecuted for that, you know. But they soon will be. Oh, it's lucky. Uh, let's go back to this. Now, um, let me just get a few precepts on, uh. In, on this, you know, going into this word hypocrite. Job 20 and 5. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Now let's look up that word hypocrite. All right, and that word hypocrite is chanap. All right, it says uh, hypocritical, godless, profane, hypocrite, irreligious. And the scriptures tell us in Psalms the seventy third chapter and various you know different chapters, about Esau, uh, Ezekiel twenty eight, Esau basically sets his mouth against the heaven, man. All right, the scriptures say, Hebrews twelve. Lest there was any profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat stole his birthright. You know? So this fits Esau the hypocrite, man. Profane, impious, irreligious. Hmm. This is from H. See, 2610, let me read that. Okay, that was kind of... To be, to be profane, be defiled, be polluted, be corrupt. Mm. Be profane, be godless. Hey, man, so you how about Shimei Awashai said that you devils are profane, all right, which means outside of the temple. And that also goes to prove that um, Esau could not enter into, you know, Esau would not enter into our rest. He's going to enter into the kingdom by the way of chains, but he's not going to enter into our rest, the king, uh, you know, the kingdom of Israel. Let's get some more precepts. Okay. It's Job. This is Job. Let's see, Job. Uh, no, it's lock, yeah. Go back. That's a bad chapter, man. Going in on Esau. Job the 20th chapter. Another one is Job 27 and 8. For what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he have gained, when God taketh away his soul? So the Most High is going to pull Esau. Man. He's going to pull Esau down. He's going to put him back into that a state of a caveman that he that he is, man. And the whole world is going to see him for the devil that he is. You know? See him for the base man that he is. Alright? Which that word base means low, man. Like in the basement is what the lowest level of the house. Um, Job thirty four and thirty. That the hypocrite reign not, lest the people be ensnared. What's that word ensnared mean? Hmm, a trap. Lest the people be trapped. People are trapped, man. And Esau's wickedness, man. You know? 
Because they also set themselves against the Most High. The scripture says, He that hate me love death. Bring And he also, Yahweh said what? Bring them hither and slay them before me. Job 34 and 30. Oh, it's like I just read that. Proverbs 11 and 9. And hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. Mm, and Esau is going to come and destroy us, man. First and foremost with his mouth. You know, putting uh, false lies, you know, out there on the news. And, um, you know, different media talking smack against the Israelites, which he which he did, you know, already by putting, you know, um, like it was one video that was went viral a few years back talking talking about uh, what does it say? What did it say? America's worst hate group. You know, and they had the brothers over there in San Fran. So this is a hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. And we're being delivered by this truth. You know. This is another good one. Matthew 7 and 5. Thou hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of thine own eye. And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. You know. Mr. Nambler. Mr. Uh, you know. Mr. Pizzagate is going to, you know, call us rapists. You know, like they said, when you point the finger, three more is pointing back at you. Hey, so this devil's going down, man. The joy of the hypocrite. You know, I got to get that. Since we talking about Job. Surprise it's not up here. Job 15 and 34. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. All right, and as the scriptures say, the day of doom shall be the end of this world, you know, and also the beginning of the next. So, with that, Lord willing, you, Akin was edified. Shalom to the elect.